We're hoping you can give us a brief profile of how you found distribution for each of your films from Outside Sales, Weather Girl, Six Month Rule, and now with Cut to the Chase. Sure. Uh, outside sales was, we didn't know what the hell we were doing. That, that's a very important <laughs> thing about uh, my first movie. Um, we, you know, I, I was doing well acting wise and like this was the, the movie that I, I sold my house to finance. I, you know, had done this uh, cartoon for Disney for where I do the voice of Peter Pan and I made a good amount of money and I bought a house and then uh, I sold the house to finance my first movie and we had it and we traveled all over the film festival circuit and spent all this money and then came out the other side and was like, all right, I'm broke. I don't have distribution for the movie and, you know, what do I do? So that one was crazy. It, it took about a year of just like talking to everybody and finally we landed with this company and got a DVD deal, um, which again, this was when the, the system wasn't working very well. So it was like, we got a DVD deal, no money up front, but they threw us a big release party. And that was pretty much it. But the movie was out. That was an important thing. Uh, Weather Girl was a way better experience. Way, Weather Girl got into the Slamdance Film Festival. Um, we had some cool actors. We had Mark Harmon and Caitlin Olson and Trisha Kelly, who was on The New Adventures of Old Christine. And they all came out to Park City with us. And that helped promote the movie. And we got a distribution deal right there. And then we sold to Lifetime, which was where, really where the money came in. So that paid back all of our investors. Um, and then we had this huge international deal where they never paid us. So we had to sue this company in order to get them to settle for one fifth of what they owed us. Again, the system just didn't work. It was the kind of thing where people, the distributors, not all of them, but a lot of them would just refuse to pay until you sued them because they knew you didn't have any money. So. If you sued them and got that far, then they would settle for like one fifth of what they owe you, which is, uh, you know, a lot of the, politically, th this kind of business is being talked about a lot right now. And uh, in my experience, it happens all the time of like the little guy screaming, yelling about where's the money that you owe me? And then them saying, no, no, no. All right, here, I'll pay you one fifth and you'll be happy to have it. Luckily, that's happening less now with distributors. Uh, but that was Weather Girl. So Weather Girl, we made all of our money back, but before we got into profit, we had this problem with our international distributor. Uh, six month rule, um, we premiered at the Austin Film Festival. Film Buff came to us. Uh, Film Buff uh, is Synetic's kind of little brother in the indie film world. And uh, they put us out iTunes VOD and everything like that. It was a great experience. We're still out there with Film Buff, six month rule, check it out. And uh, cut to the chase, um, finished the film, and we've just been traveling film festival-wise and like having conversations, and we met with 108 Media, and they, they seemed down with the movie, and we certainly speak the same language, and uh, they're bringing us out March 7th, so I'm excited.